Got a request for Hawk Moth and Mayura, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Lightnings has requested this. Thanks for your patience. I apologize, people, because I got a wait list in about two months. But anyways, it's very exciting that people request things, so it just takes me a while. And I had to look into this because I had no idea what this is, even though my daughter loves the Miraculous Ladybug. Um, anyways, found out about these characters. So, let's get started. So, I'm starting with the girl. So, we're going to do her head. So, we have a, it's kind of like, it's, well, we're just going to start with the top part, the rounded head. But the bottom part's going to kind of like, she's going to have a nice jawline here and then have it come down into a point. Okay, and her head's looking down. And then this is her ears over on either side, okay? she got her ears. And then on that line, we have her eyes. So she's got these amazing eyes. And when you do Sharpie it, you're gonna wanna Sharpie a lot of eyeliner around her, because she's got these thick eyeliners and then some eyes in here. Oh yes, she's looking mysterious. I love it, okay? So on that line, we have like a cute nose she has, and then just a simple mouth, okay? So now we can erase this line. Actually, right on this line, right up here, do a little space up. Oh, we forgot her eye. Oop. Okay. On this line right here, we're gonna be making a line across, and the line is gonna come down. This is gonna be her hair that's going to be swooping down on the side here, okay? So now we can erase that center line and then we'll keep going. Okay, so on here, she's got this, it's like a peacock, so she, she represents a peacock here. So this is like a peacock symbol. And inside there, I'm gonna make this look even. Uh, we're gonna do another, looks like a raindrop and then another raindrop. So we're gonna end up sharp, we're gonna sharpie in there. We do it. And then I put lines in here so it looked like her hair was slicked back. So you have her hair just coming out the side like this. Okay, super job. So she's got this neck, but we're gonna be putting some clothes on it. And then off of here, we've got her shoulder. So we're gonna do an oval. Oval. And this is gonna be her hand in here, okay? And inside of her hand, so she has her, her like her thumb and then her fingers coming up. She's got this great um, fan. So I'm just gonna do an outline of where the fan is. Now we're gonna be putting the plumes in there, the fan plumes. So it's gonna be upside down raindrops. One, it's gonna do another one. Two, three, four, five, six, and inside there, there's going to be another raindrop. Okay, and then the fan's gonna go around it, so we're just gonna make this a little harder, so then when we erase, we can erase the stuff we already did. Okay, so this is the fan she's holding. Ooh, lovely. So we can erase right in there, connect that. Okay, now she's got her hips are coming right off of here. Let's just bring that down. And then we're gonna have the hips come off the other side. Bring it down. And then she's got her slit in her dress. It is pretty high up there. It's gonna connect right to this. And this side is just gonna go straight down. And then you can turn this into a plume. Bloop. It's like her back tail feathers. Okay. And inside there, we're gonna do one circle. And then do an inner circle. Do this on all of them. What do I know about them? Okay, so we know it's from Miraculous Ladybug and this guy right here, his name is Gabriel, and he was a famous fashion designer. And he kind of turned into the 
the villain, he called it Hawk Moth. Okay, so this, when you do Sharpie it, we're gonna Sharpie all inside here. So that will make it look nice and sleek. So he became um, part of the series. And so now we can do the bottom part over here. This is gonna turn into her back feathery plumes too. Okay, and you can do the circles in there. So you do a bigger circle, little circle. Okay, now we have our leg. So it's gonna be coming off from here. Bring it down. It's gonna go in and it's gonna go out and in. And that's the extent of it right there. And then we have our back foot. You can't really see too well, but it's back there. There we go. And then from here, this side, we're gonna go over, jump behind it, and then keep it going. So this, when you do do it, you're gonna be sharpening all this in. Uh, so what they would do is um, he would try to get Cat Noir's, I can't even say that right, ring and Ladybug's um, earring, and together it um, gave him ultimate powers and wishes, but there was also consequences to doing that. Always consequences to an action. And then I put her, oh, she has this like thing around her neck. So we're just gonna fill this in with Sharpie. Kind of like a, a scarf thing. Okay, she looks amazing. You can even make the outside of her eyes just a little bit thicker if you want. Cause she does have really thick around the eye. She looks good. Okay, so now we're gonna do him. He's got a big old noggin. But we're gonna make his chin look a little bit more defined. So down here, we're gonna give him an ear right there so it looks like his little ear. Make it sharp. And then we're gonna make it sharp across. And make it come up. So this is his jawline. This is gonna be where his eyebrow is. And that can go over. So it's looking like this. And this is where his, oh, his eyebrows, they are, whew. He is not one of happy, he's not a happy guy, right? And underneath here. Ooh, he looks mad. Trouble maker, right? And he's gonna have a nose that's gonna come down. And he's got this like mask on, it's gonna go around where his mouth is, so you can erase this part in there. And then put his mouth. So he has like a smile, but it's more of like a, hmm, I'm in trouble smile, right? Absolutely, put a line there. Oh, he looks mad. Okay, so we're gonna put, so his clothes for his shirt. He's got some fancy outfit here. And this is where his shoulder is. And I just put him behind. So she's gonna be having her arm out and he's having his arm out, but we'll connect that in a second. Okay, so let's do his body. So it's gonna come down. So we're gonna say this is where, this is his neck, his body, and his legs are, okay? So now let's do the details. So he's got this crazy jacket Almost like these are like wings that are gonna come up. You're gonna be sharpening this in. That'll be all sharpened in. And then the other side's gonna come up. And up here, this is where his shirt comes in and he has like a shirt underneath, but we're gonna see a little skin in there. So this will be sharpened. That looks good. So this would be sharp, sharp, sharp. If you want, you can put in like a V here. Cool. And so now from here, his jacket comes down and it's gonna come over and then up. So this is where his jacket is and then his other half of jacket is in there. So we can erase in that. So we know, um, so the lady's name that turns in, her name is Natalie. Sankur, 
I'm probably saying that wrong. She turns into that one. Okay, so I put his arms coming out. So he's gonna do an oval, an oval, and then he has his hand coming out, okay? Ooh. We'll make that look good. So you can erase in here so we can connect it. And make his jacket straight. And then for his hand, we'll just put it out. And then we're going to be putting fingers up. So use little fingers. Actually, I'm going to put a little thumb in there too. Is your thumb the other? Yeah, I think his thumb's over there. All right, so that is done. Done. So his arm is going to come through here. And then I'm having her arm. It's almost like she's wrapping around the back of him because they're partners in crime. Okay. So now we are going to define this. It's going to come down. I'm going to make this a little bit more harsher. The same thing with this one. And then this little foot's going to come down here. So this is going to sharpie all in black. All right, I think that we can sharpie it and then I'll show you how I colored it because I used a couple of colors. Okay, so ultra thin sharpie and then we're gonna go over it with just the fine sharpie, okay? Now I'm using the big Sharpie to fill in the black parts, and that's what it I'm going to erase my lines. Okay, these are the colors I used. To get their clothes, I colored it all in purple. So I'm gonna show you what he is, just so you can see. So I colored it, this is just purple. I'm gonna show you half of them so you can see how I got that color. Because if you can notice, it's two different color purples he has. And then with that purple, I'm gonna color it darker along the edge here. Okay. Now, what you do is you take the, this is the trick, it's called magenta. And I'm gonna go over all of it with magenta. So this is how I got the color of this suit. You can do that all over, okay? So for her, how I got her color, because her color is a little bit different, you're gonna color her all purple, just like him. And we do something different to her. Remember, this is her arm, so we need to color it like hers, and that's his back there. So to make hers look like that, and then up here, also her hair, I go with a little darker around the edges, so I'm gonna do that on her too. Darker. Okay, to make hers look it, I got a sky blue, and I'm gonna put sky blue in it so it looks like a different kind of purple. Do you see how they're both purple, but they're different kinds of purple. So her outfit's gonna be the same thing. It's blue purple, hers is more magenta purple. See how I did that? And then for her face, I'm just going to very lightly do it purple, very light, as light as you can. Not in her eyeballs, it's her skin. And I'm gonna go around her eyes a little bit more with the purple. 
the, uh, this is going to be purple in here, so you can try this in. And do a little bit under the nose, and then a little bit in the ears. So then what I did was, for her eyes, I took the magenta. I just went around the outside with it a little bit. This is magenta in there, and a little bit around the eyes, and her lips, magenta. Okay, and magenta inside these little dots. <laughs> and then these are gonna be dark purple in here. So you wanna press down hard. We're trying to make, I mean, this is pretty much like one color, so just how dark and light and what you add to it to make it look good. I'm just coloring it dark purple. And then this is gonna be light purple. You're just coloring it lightly, along with the hand, light. And I gave it a green background because I thought it would make it pop. And for her legs, only thing I used was the purple. So I just did along here dark and then it's gonna get lighter. I didn't use any other colors for her leg. And then I made it darker along the bottom. So I'm just gonna press down harder along the bottom. That looks cool. And what else? Oh, so for him, He's showing some skin here. So this is just peach. And then I'm just gonna put a little tan in there on the outside, under the chin. And his helmet is gray. So I'm lightly gonna color it gray and then I'm gonna do different dark spots. So I'm gonna come in here, do dark in there. Go around the outside dark, and then I'm, this is going to be dark in here, and along here is dark, darker. Anyways, you can play with it, see how it looks. Oh, I forgot butterflies! So I did butterflies in here. I guess they're supposed to be moths. Okay. Alright, so we have one, and we have one that's just a side view of it. Bigger on top, smaller on the bottom. And I'll do one more. I like doing in threes. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have you have at it. Enjoy and see you guys in the next one. See ya.